Hello and welcome back to Drunk on Wanderlust and you are watching part two of the Aran Coastal Way. Now don't worry if you haven't seen part one, you can click the link above and catch up there or just check it out on the channel. Now we're going to go and catch up with the guys exactly where we left off, so let's go. So here was our current location and we had just over two miles to get to Black Waterfoot. It had been a long and tiring morning across the rocks, but the view out to sea had made it worthwhile. We're so happy. We can see civilization in the distance, which means the pub is coming up and we are all exhausted and very thirsty and in need of wine. <sighs> Not too far now, less than two miles. We can do it. I've got trench foot, fell into a bog. Yeah, it hasn't gone it. I pray to the universe that the trail would get a little bit easier underfoot so, so we could make up some time and it'd be easier on my knee. The universe provided, and we're now walking along a nice kind of flattish track without many stones. And maybe, just maybe, there's a slight chance we might reach the hotel before Christmas, if we're lucky. Onwards to Blackwater Foot. We were all pretty starving by now and we're looking forward to a decent meal. It was so close and yet so far. The smell of the seaweed in this section is overpowering. It smell, oh, it, oh. Well, you heard what Claire thought it smelled like. It's accurate. It absolutely reeks. But we're trying to avoid it by walking up here, but it's so stony and rocky. That's why my filming today has just been terrible, apologies. But the path has been so all over the place and we're trying to watch my knee not getting jolted. Oh, hopefully I'll do some better. <laughs> Better film on tomorrow. I'm going to put this away. Well, at least the sun was out. Do you like this bit, Steve? N not particularly. <laughs> I like the views. I don't like oh, the, view the actual fantastic. walking. I mean, if you want it for the views, it's 100%. But um, it's, it can be hard going at times, put it that way. Yeah. Forget a glass of wine, we needed a whole bottle. It was the best motivation to get us into town. We'd looked online and knew for a fact the best Western Kinlock Hotel would definitely be open. Here we are, here we are. We made it to the hotel. Having a cheeky bottle of wine to celebrate, gonna get some food. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, couldn't get in the... Uh, restaurant but they do a takeaway so we're just going to sit out here and eat some nice foodies and then we've only got about 2.7 miles to go to find somewhere to camp along the beach along the coast <laughs> so it could take us what three weeks i highly recommend the food here just what we needed here we are claire we've just had a lovely little stop haven't we at the hotel Met some people, drank some wine, had some nice food. And now we're heading off again. We had just been chatting to some lovely men who had told us we would find a place to camp on the beach, just past the golf course. So that's where we were heading. Of course, this day wouldn't be complete without another field of cows to navigate. What's bothering her? What's in the field? Look in this field. Look what we have to walk through. Why me? Wait for me. This is not what I'm wanting at the last thing in the day, is it? Bloody hell. Yeah. 
to be fair, I think they ran out of as well. Which is nice. They look as tired as we do. Oh, oh, oh. oh. As long as they don't start following us again. Luckily, they didn't. And we made it safely down onto the coast. Another pitch with a view. Just look at that. Shame about the midges. This is an absolute midge fest this evening. Ah! Camped on the beach, but there is no breeze. So we are suffering. Very good morning, everybody. Uh, just gonna give you a little update of what we have been doing on the trail. Okay, so the last time you saw us, we were camped out not far from King's Cave. Um, we are now a day after, no, two days after, because what happened yesterday, uh, we woke up and it was due storms all day, like torrential storms. And we knew we had about a 15 mile section of mostly road walking. Uh, and my knee was playing up a little bit as well. So we made the decision to have a rest day instead, skip that section. We did it on the bus so we could still see all the nice scenery. And we stayed here in the hostel um, in, where was it called, Loch Loranza or something like that. Uh, I'll put it on the screen, the exact name of it. But it was lovely, we had a nice day, we had a nice rest. Um, and yeah, we're just starting the next section. So we've got two days left to do uh, to get back to the ferry. And uh, it's still raining, but nowhere near as bad. And hopefully uh, this afternoon it is gonna get dry and maybe the sun might even come out, we never know. But we've just seen a beautiful massive stag. Um, yeah, it's been lovely. So let's see what this section of the trail has to offer. Let's do it. Here we are now at the youth hostel in Loch Ramza. It was a shame we had to miss a section, but we knew it would have been a completely miserable day in the storms if we hadn't. Loch Ramza was really beautiful and we took a little time this morning to explore and grab ourselves some breakfast from the sandwich shop by the ferry terminal. After that, we continued on with the trail. We only had around eight miles to do today. Our aim was to get to Sanex if we could and find somewhere there to camp. Enjoying the scenery? It's a very lovely location. Uh, and nice to have a dry night last night instead of having to put up with all that rain. But, uh, yeah, all good. The rest day and night in the hostel had done wonders for my knee. And even though it was raining still, I was in a very positive mood and enjoying the whole experience. So this is another situation that we were in the other day where the tide is high. <laughs> I want to sing the song, but I'm not. So at the minute, the tide is low, so we can get by, but it's definitely looking worth looking at tide times to know if you can pass or not. Otherwise, we'll be going back to the hostel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We made it around the corner of Doom. The path looks a little bit more uh, open and clear now, less scrambling, but we still don't know what's coming up. But for now, it's all good. We did it. We are coming up to um, a famous landmark on Arran. It is in fact, the Cock of Arran. Do you wanna see? There he is, the Cock of Arran. <laughs> Well, at least I amused myself. We were now on a much gentler path for a while. Those boulders had been hard work. It's 
perfect little camp spot here, isn't it, Steve? This is perfect, yeah. I see you. I'll, I'll show them where it is on the map. Somebody's been here before because it's perfect. Yeah. Got a nice view as well, look. Got a bit of bird watching going on. If anyone fancies a nice coastal pitch, this was a great spot and not too far from a water source either. More scrambling, but at least it was keeping us on our toes. Be warned, the rocks do get quite slippery in the rain though. The rain kept coming down, but it didn't distract from how lovely this section was. Such a beautiful stretch of coastline. taking a little break we've only got about three and a half miles left to go uh, for the day and it's all been quite all right today some slippery stones i mean the rain has stopped now which is always a bonus um everything's quite wet which is making it a little bit tough on uh, some of the rocky parts but we're managing and i think actually i'm not even going to say it because i'm not going to jinx it i'm not going to jinx it we'll just see what happens weather wise as we go along We didn't jinx it and it was staying dry and the path had become flatter and more manageable. Happy days. We're at a place on the map called Fallen Rocks. So I'm assuming these are the Fallen Rocks. The end. Where are we headed now, Claire? That's our favourite place. The beach. The beach. What a treat. Every time I do one of these things for Kerry, I have to feel like I'm a presenter. <laughs> you are a presenter. And what are we heading towards now? We're now going towards civilization and we're going towards a gate. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> That's great. You're wasted. Come with me. Come with me. We're going to open it and close it. Presenter time. You look like Annika Rice. Challenge Annika with your big orange bag. Oh, that was really good. Watch the mechanics on this one. It has two features an open and also a close. It opens and closed. It's something that we've been looking for for a very long time. The sun had come out and we were getting closer to Sanix. Good times. Well, someone needs some caffeine. Now there is a cafe in Sanix if anyone wanted to bite to eat or a coffee stop. It was next to the Corrie Golf Club. We made our way there as we were running low on supplies and Claire was desperate for a little caffeine boost. The walk into Sanix is really picturesque. Lots of pretty wildflowers and the view over the beach was so nice, especially with all the mountains in the background. We just needed to find a good wild camp spot now. Well, here we go. We have arrived in Sanex and it's absolutely stunning. So, so pretty. We're just trying to find somewhere to pitch now. Obviously, we can't be um, too close to the houses or anything like that. So we might have to pop out the other side of the trail and find something along the way there. But yeah, we're going to go and explore. See this pretty beach as well. last we found somewhere to pitch our tents and just look at that view very nice i wanted to do a time lapse on um i'm putting my tent up but the problem is my phone was dead and i haven't got time to do the time lapse. <laughs> 
It's all right. You're doing a grand job. So I've decided not to do that, but... Oh, look at this view. Your tent looks great. Yeah? Yeah. It is our last night. We found a cracking pitch. Happy with this. A bit close to um, some houses. Naughty, naughty. But look at this view. <laughs> Steve. And Steve is over there. I'm going to go and show you where he's pitched his tent. Steve had decided to give us a break from his snoring tonight. Okay. We're sitting here with Steve and we're just wondering. Are we going to have a second Cape Wrath where we get washed away? Because <laughs> the river will come up. Now, it's not raining at the minute. It's not due rain. <laughs> so we've put some little markers out, stones markers. I don't know if you can see them. And if the water comes up to the stones, at any point, we'll move the tents. Because we don't want a repeat of... Um, the cape but it's just such a lovely view we couldn't resist could we steve yeah. lovely and what we got on here we've got claire's feet Ooh, it's it for all you uh foot fetish lovers out uh, there do it anyway do it anyway yeah oh hi just having my tea i'm having um jimmy joy with a baby bell me melted in it which is really nice Oh, is that nice? Should I yeah. do that? Mm. Mm, yeah, nice. it's easy. Very really nice indeed. Last night camping. Tomorrow is the last day of the trail. And then we are catching the ferry across to the mainland where we've got a cheeky little Airbnb, courtesy of Steve. Mm. And then it's home. It's been wonderful. The island is beautiful. Really, really pretty. There's been some tough sections on the beaches, but I am going over those slippery rocks. But overall, we've really enjoyed it. And uh, we had a little bit of rain today, but that's really been it with the rain. I mean, yesterday, of course, was a washout, but we um, we sacked that day off. We had a rest day. Yeah, it's been good. Getting food by my mouth. That is all. Water check. Did it? Has got a chance to dry out, you know. It hasn't reached the stones just yet. We're almost at high tide, so we're not going to bed just yet, just in case we need to move Claire's tent. We had reached high tide and luckily I think we were in the clear. Can somebody please invent midge nets that you can see through properly? Because as soon as the sun reflects on these nets, you can't see a bloody thing. How's yours, Claire? Can you see through yours? No. How's the tide, Claire? The tide is high and I'm moving on. I'm gonna be your number one. Yeah. I'm not the kind of girl who gives up just like that. Oh, yeah. Very good morning everybody. Here we go, day six on the trail, the final day. And it has been quite the adventure this morning. As I mentioned earlier, um, we were assessing our camp spot because we knew that high tide again was going to be coming this morning. We thought, as we looked out at half past five, we thought, oh no, it's fine, don't worry. That we're at high tide, it's not going to come up any further. Um, so we started to just bath in the tents and the next thing we know, within 10 minutes, we were flooded. Well, it was our own fault. We knew the risks, but had decided to pitch there anyway. We must have got our tide calculations wrong. It was our last night though, so we all saw the funny side of the situation. I'd managed to drag my tent up the bank to escape, but Claire had almost floated out to sea in hers. Oh, how we laughed as we packed away our wet gear, as the water kept creeping higher and higher up the bank.
if you uh, are looking for a campsite that doesn't get flooded out, um, we just found it and it's about less than 10 minutes from where we camped. So, there you go. Anyway, we pointed out a better pitch. Um, now we've only got about seven and a half miles to do until we get to the finish point. So we're in a good mood, we're excited. We've got an Airbnb tonight and we're looking forward to seeing what this last section has on the Aran Coastal Way. Yeah, baby! A few minutes from where we had pitched our tents is a public toilet with a sink, which was really handy to have a quick wash and freshen up. We then walked along the road to another small town called Corrie. There's a hotel there that serves food to the public, but it doesn't open until midday. So unfortunately, no breakfast or coffees for the guys today. We could see on the map that soon we would be coming off the road to another short climb up through some pretty woodland. Coming off the road now, heading into some forest, which is nice, bit of a change of uh, scenery. Looking forward to it, bit of a climb though. See you on the other side. The morning had been dry, but we had some seriously dark clouds looming overhead. We were all praying they would pass us by. Steve is stripping. Do do do, yeah, woo. Oh dear, looking at that sky, I think it was time to put our waterproofs on. quite badly in fact sorry but the filming's going to be shocking now because my camera's steamed up the rain lasted approximately five minutes then suddenly stopped the weather gods were smiling upon us we were so close to finishing now The sun has come out, we're out of the woods, the rain has stopped and we can actually see the ferry from here. So we're not far now. I think we've got um, about two and a half miles to finish. Wee, 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 wee. We're getting hungry. So I think we're gonna take a little stop when we reach this next town here and have a sandwich, crack out the last couple of miles to the finish line. Just a quick reminder, if you'd like to find out more about my hiking club or my small sustainable business, please check out my website at officiallysmashedit.com. Just on the outskirts of Brodick, we came across a nice area for a well-deserved snack stop. From here, we crossed over a bridge towards the golf club and followed what we thought was the correct route into town back down onto the beach. Here we go, the last little bit into town, walking along the beach, blisters are hurting but we've only got about a mile or so, so we can do it. Whee! We're not dead yet. Not dead yet. I've just noticed, <laughs> I think we're meant to be over on that boardwalk over there. 
And we've just done a mile across the beach, sinking into the sand. No, there's no crossing. No, I, I, did, I know. We we'll have to find a way over there. Look, we're meant to be there. Hee hee hee. We're a bit stuck. We're meant to be on that boardwalk over there. <laughs> this day, honestly, today is just, just one of them days. Uh, we're on the beach and there's like a river in between us and where we're meant to be. And I think that means we're gonna have to walk all the way back down the beach to get back on the boardwalk. And town is literally just there. We're so tired. How did this happen? <laughs> oh, fun and games, fun and games. Well, at least the scenery was spectacular. We're back on track. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Back on the right path now, we plodded on into town, full of mixed emotions. Excited to get to our Airbnb for a nice hot shower, but also quite sad that our adventure was almost over. Once again, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching and for your continued support for the channel. The only question left now is, which trail do we tackle next? Answers in the comments. We made it. We survived. So here we are back at the finish point of the Avon Coastal Way. It has been quite the adventure. It's had its ups, it's had its downs and everything in between. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next trail. Bye.